This movie tells a story about Ollie Cross, who is a young paramedic assigned to the New York City night shift with an uncompromising and seasoned partner, Gene Ratkowski. Both characters are saving lives and losing their mind in a city hellscape. This movie is a dark chronicle of New York City paramedics, which is rather bleak and depressing. The idea behind this is admirable. It does serve to remind us of how screwed up America can be. Unfortunately, this movie fails to make the story interesting. You can even argue that this movie has no plot as it's a rather clumsy marathon of plotless miseries. It's a one note that it seems determined to numb us more than the job of paramedic itself ever could. This movie has the classic Hollywood setup for this kind of drama. The older guy who has seen it all, Tim with the newbie, just trying to make it through his job. However, both characters spend most of the movie just taking care of one patient after another, all different circumstances, so the movie is simply just one lacerating set piece after another. There's actually more to those incidents that will come to the surface, but the movie chooses to take us into these sad pockets of humanity that are gut-wrenching to watch over and over. The movie fails to sustain emotions with a bare-bones storyline and flat characters. It lacks nail-biting plot and non-stop tension as it feels like a repetitive in its episodic structure. The flatness of the movie's design is really frustrating as it suffers from a lethargic rhythm that delivers much of the same thing. The problem is that we never care enough about both characters to be stirred by their harrowing downfalls or potential resurrections. The movie tries to make both characters more dimensional and more recognizably human by giving the scenes of their personal life. Unfortunately, these scenes do not really advance the story and characters much. They feel like stock characters surrounded by a hyper-real world which the movie is more interested about exploring than the inner lives of its two protagonists. The actors do their best to bring them to life, especially Sean Penn, whose performance is good. He plays a character who has seen so much misery and death that he barely even knows anymore whether he's a lifesaver or an undertaker. Unfortunately, the story arc for his character doesn't quite come together as it feels rather jarring. Overall, it's not worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.